Hello everybody, Dr. Tim Turlop here. Welcome to this week's installment of Three Minutes to Vitality. And the weather's getting beautiful. It's getting uh, cool in the mornings, gorgeous during the daytime. We're all feeling the draw to go outside, um, which is the time that a lot of people start thinking about using sunscreens. So I just wanna hit on just a little bit about sunscreens and a little bit about their hazards and their dangers. Uh, recently, the FDA, believe it or not, has actually said that they're gonna be re-looking at these 18 different chemicals um, that are actually in sunscreens. Two of them have been approved for human use, two have been removed, and the other 14, well, we're not sure, but they're all over the place in all the products. So, so now the FDA is asking the manufacturers to start providing more data so they can reassess and reevaluate the safety of the products that are already on your shelves. <clears throat> Interesting stuff. The spray sunscreens as well as Consumer Reports actually came out last year looking at independent research and actually made the recommendation that never should a spray be used on our children, not once, right? Which is kind of an amazing factoid as well. So there's really two sunscreens that are safe when you're going outside that last a long time that are exceedingly effective and you never have to worry about. And they're uh, sunscreens that are based with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Really simple stuff, it's super safe. We know they're safe, we know they're unbelievably effective. I just had the good fortune of spending uh, the day with my wife at the beach uh, last weekend. Um, we used a, a zinc oxide based uh, sunscreen, put it on about 10 o'clock in the morning, we were in for lunch, otherwise we were out on the beach for seven hours, um, swimming, getting out of the water, uh, playing a couple of games, that sort of thing, and never had to reapply and never got any burning whatsoever. So it, it really is effective and very safe. Zinc oxide is actually called the barrier type of sunscreen and titanium dioxide as well because it actually keeps the sun from ever penetrating into the skin. Then you've got the chemical barriers, which are the other 12 types, the most common of which is one called oxybenzone. It's in more than 70% of them as well. And we know that oxybenzone um, is actually an endocrine disruptor. It messes with our hormonal system creates low sperm counts in men, it creates um, endometriosis in women, um, my goodness gracious, that and a couple of others um, in the sunscreens have been banned in Hawaii because they also kill all the coral reefs and the crab populations because we put them on our skin, we go into the water, it comes off of our skin in the water, right, and it's killing all of the wildlife in the water. Does that sound like a good plan to you? So really the only two that we wanna use are that, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, the others are really not safe. Never use a spray. Um, now please understand, you can see zinc oxide and titanium dioxide on some sunscreens because they're made into a nanoparticle, which is a super, super small particle. Most times you'll see them in the sprays, but you can also see them in the applicants sometimes, uh, but you never want to use nanoparticles. Again, they're so small, they go right into our systems. They get into the lungs, they get into the liver, the kidney, they're even small enough that they pass through the blood-brain barrier and into the brain. <clears throat> excuse me, not something that we want to actually incorporate um, into trying to do a good thing. Now, one of the reasons we use sunscreens is to keep us safe from the sun and sun cancer. Well, a study that was just published uh, last year, uh, a Swedish study that looked at these ladies over 50 and they followed them for 25 plus years. And what they found was the, the, the ladies with the highest sun exposure literally had the lowest levels of skin cancer and death from melanoma. Interesting. Right, so one of the things that you want to be aware of when we're looking at that, because it, uh, moderate sun exposure is a good thing, right? It is an exceedingly safe thing. It's burning that's bad. Go in the sun. Please go in the sun regularly, right? But just don't get burned. When you start to see a little flushing, a little pink to the skin, you are done. Uh, put, a, put a fork in him. He's done, right? And please stop doing that. Put some sunscreen on, the titanium dioxide or zinc oxide based ones, right? Or get covered up with, put clothes on or get under the shade. Perfect, and, and we're done. It's really kind of a lot of labor and a lot of thought for something that's pretty darn simplistic. In that same Swedish study that looked at it, it was kind of a really, really intriguing thing, is there's a thing called a dose-dependent response. So the women who got the, the highest levels of sun exposure, if a little bit more sun exposure, a little bit more sun exposure, they actually show decreased uh, risk of death, all, it's called all-cause mortality, uh, risk of death from anything, would actually, the more sun they got, the less likely they were to die until the group that had the greatest sun exposure was half as likely to die as the group of women with the lowest sun exposure, right? Including from melanoma, including from skin cancer, including from anything. So they were half, so these people were twice as likely to die 
during the course of that study as the women who actually had the most sun exposure. Something to really consider. But when you're going to be using uh, sunscreens, please use them after 30, 40 minutes in the sun. Right? Use titanium dioxide or zinc oxide base. Please don't bother with the other stuff. Um, it is hazardous and the jury is still out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.